guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. Today I have some very interesting news regarding Star Wars Battlefront as a Heroes and Villains mode is pretty much confirmed for the new game thanks to the Spanish EA Star Wars account that added Heroes and Villains to the list of game modes on top of those that the English page has already revealed. But before I go into any detail of that I would like to take a minute and talk about a pretty awesome Star Wars app that I recently found out about. The app is called Star Wars Card Trader by Tops, and it's basically an app where you can collect, trade and buy digital Star Wars trading cards. The app contains over a thousand officially licensed Star Wars cards of characters, locations and vehicles. What I find the most entertaining to do with this app on top of just collecting the cards is actually to read them, because each card has a backside with more information about the character, location or vehicle and a lot of the characters that are on these cards we get pretty much zero information about in the movies such as Admiral Ossel just to give you an example and it's nice to get a little bit of background about them. You might also remember that the first names of the Force Awakens characters were actually revealed through these cards that you can find in the app, such as Finn and Kylo Ren. The app is completely free and you can open free packs of cards every single day and I think it's a very nice distraction whenever you're on the subway or just have a little break. You can find a link to the app in the description below and feel free to add me on the app if you want to. My username is the same as on Twitter, SWF Updates. Anyways, now back to the Battlefront news. They are very short, but damn sweet, because on the multiplayer game mode page of the official EA Star Wars website, the Spanish account has actually revealed that a Heroes and Villains mode will be in the game. I've already gone through the English version of this page before, where it says that the game will include multiplayer modes, Walker Assault, Supremacy, Fighter Squadron, Blast, Drop Zone, Cargo and more to be announced. However, on the Spanish page they actually have one more game mode listed, Heroes and Villains. This is the original text and if you translate it you get the following. In addition to Walker Assault, Star Wars Battlefront will feature immersive, fun-filled multiplayer modes including Supremacy, Fighter Squadron, Blast, Drop Zone, Cargo and Heroes vs Villains mode that will be announced in the months ahead. The wording there is pretty weird to be honest, but I've talked to multiple Spanish speakers who say that the translation is correct. So I'm guessing that this might be some sort of communication error within EA, where the Spanish community team posted more than what they were supposed to do. Nevertheless, it's extremely cool to hear that a Heroes and Villains mode is in the works. I've been a bit skeptical towards that, as the original trilogy is a bit limited in terms of heroes, but now we know that they are actually working on some sort of Heroes and Villains mode. My guess is that it will get revealed fully on the English account pretty soon, now that it's already out, and there's not really any reason to hide it from us anymore. I would also like to clarify some things regarding the alpha coming out in a few days. Many people like myself were a bit worried that it had quite high minimum requirements, but community manager Matt cleared up on the reddit saying that this is just the alpha requirements and they are not the final ones. I'm currently running a GTX 670 and the requirement says 680 so it's going to be very interesting to see how my computer can actually run the game. Anyways that brings this video to an end, I will see you guys soon again and as always may the force be with you.